okay so let us now learn about interconversion conversion between two different number systems first we are going to look at conversion from decimal to other number system decimal to others okay so let us take a general decimal number we all know a decimal number can have integral part as well as fractional part so i am taking any general decimal number which has integral part as x2 x1 x0 three digits it is having and it has two digits in fraction this is a general decimal number so how are we going to convert it into a new number system we want it in a new number system with base r fine any r can be any value 2 8 16 any value so what are we going to do is we are going to repeatedly divide this number with r you divide this number fine you are going to get some question here you again divide this with r and you continue it till you get the remainder as zero or any number any number which is less than r less than r fine so then you move like this this is going to be the required integral part okay and what do we do for the fractional part you multiply it repeatedly with r okay when you multiply this fractional part with r you're going to get some integral part and some fraction part you take this fraction part again and multiply again with r again you're going to get some integral part you do it until you get a complete integral number okay when you get one complete integral number you stop and then you move from up to down so this is going this is going to be the msb of the required fractional part and this is going to be the lsb okay let us look at an example now we are given the question convert 25.625 in binary this number 25.625 is a decimal number let us look first at the integral part 25 in this number is the integral part see how are we converting 25 in binary we divide it repeatedly with 2 see you divide 25 by 2 you get question as 12 remainder as 1 then again you are dividing question is 6 remainder is 0 3 0 then you divide question is 1 remainder is 1 see 1 1 is not divisible by 2 so you get question as 0 and remainder as 1 so now what is the binary equivalent of number 25 you read it like this start from here and read it like this so binary equivalent is 11001 11001 11001 is the binary equivalent for 25 now look at the fractional part 0.625 what are we going to do for the fractional part we multiply it repeatedly with 2 2 is the base of binary that is why okay what is 0.625 into 2 you get 1.25 you consider this one 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 we take what do we do with this 0.25 you multiply it again with 2 what do we get then 0.5 here integer is 0 so we consider 0 and 0.5 comes here it is multiplied with 2 again you get 1 see one is a complete integer so we get 1 here okay and how do we read it you read it like this so the binary form for 0.625 is going to be 0.101 okay so what is 25.625 in binary going to be it is going to be 11001.101 this is going to be the binary representation for this given decimal number okay Okay let us take one more question you can practice it by yourself i am giving the answer convert 19.125 19.125 is a decimal number convert this in binary okay you must get 10011.001 you try this 
try to convert this in binary you must get this answer let us look at one more model of these type of questions see we have got 23.6 and these we have to convert in binary first look at the integral part we have to divide 23 with 2 what do we get as question we get 11 and 1 we get as remainder again you divide 11 with 2 what do you get you get 5 as a question and 1 as remainder divide it again what are you going to get 2 and 1 again you divide you get 1 and 0 fine this is it now how are we going to move we move, move like this so what is the required binary 1 0 triple 1 now come at the fractional part 0. 0.6 we multiply this with 2 what are we going to get 1.2 so what is the integral part 1 then you multiply 0. 0.2 with 2 what are you going to get 0. 0.4 integral part is 0 then you multiply 0. 0.4 with 2 you get 0. 0.8 again integral part is 0 so you multiply 0. 0.8 with 2 you get 1.6 1 is the integral part see you got 0. 0.6 again you started with 0. 0.6 you got 0. 0.6 again this means that this fraction is never going to end it will never give us one particular integral value so see this is 1 0 0 1 this is going to repeat this is going to repeat again and again so how do we write its fractional part we write it as 1 0 0 1 bar you must have learned about this bar in basics in class 9th and 10th okay so the same logic applies here it's going to be the answer 1 0 triple 1 point 1 0 0 1 bar okay